I was a marginal Remainer, um, but I do see that um, we have to go with the will of the majority at the time, uh, as their view was promised to them, um, that their, it was promised to them that their view would be respected, and it, and it hasn't been. Um, I do understand it will provide a challenge for business, um, but there are opportunities outside as well. And have you always voted Conservative? Or? No. My mother and family were uh, uh, strong supporters of the Labour policy of the Labour Party, and uh, and I could be in terms of uh, moderate policies, um, uh, but not under the uh, the uh, Corbyn, Macdonald, Abbott trio running it. I voted Remain, but the country voted on Brexit. I think we need to get it done. What do you think about Jeremy Corbyn? I don't like a lot of his policies. I'm an accountant. I work with a lot of small businesses. I think his policies would actually ultimately um, be detrimental to small business. And about Boris Johnson, what do you think about him? I am in a split mind, but I think he wants to get the job done and I think the country needs that. It's not what I've chosen, but I absolutely fundamentally believe that if that's what the country wants, we actually have to get this done now to bring certainty back into the economy and to ensure that small business especially, because that's my passion, uh, can continue to thrive and grow. Did you vote to leave in the referendum? I did. And what's your view on the past three years? Um, frustrating to say the least. With Conservatives, I'm not really looking beyond Brexit, but I know what the other parties are doing, I don't agree with. And have you always voted for Conservatives or have you voted Labour before? No, I voted Lib Dems many, many years ago. Um, I'm ashamed to say in the last election I voted for Corbyn. I really you know, just want to get the uncertainty over with and, and done and I just think that uh, the approach with a, a Tory majority government will do that, whereas I think any other result, including a hung parliament uh, or a minority Labour um, government uh, with perhaps propped up by the SNP would be a huge amount of uncertainty. I run a small business as well, so the, the uncertainty is crippling. Do you know how you're going to be voting on Thursday? I'm still undecided, but I'm 99 point percent Labour. I didn't vote to leave, but I understand if people voted to leave, we should carry out what, they, what the majority decided. But then again, a lot of people decided not to vote as well, so maybe those people should have gone and voted, and then we probably won't be in this uh, predicament. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn, and why is that? Uh, well, just because, uh, you know, the, just to distribute the wealth better in this country. Sure. And what's your view about Brexit? Uh, I voted to remain, but we voted to leave, so we should leave. Boris. And why is that? Um, because he's the only one that can now deliver what was promised in 2016. Nobody else can do it. For many years I voted uh, Labour, but um, Corbyn is totally incompetent and frankly dim, so I have absolutely no respect for him. And what about Joe Swinton and the Lib Dems? Oh, the Limp Dims? Um, well, uh, <laughs> they're a joke. Uh, they're anti-democratic, illiberal, uh, a complete a complete farce. I mean, they, they, to to want to revoke a democratic vote of 2016 is um, inconceivable, frankly, and they should be ashamed of themselves. I think at the moment I'm going to be voting tactically, um, very much looking about who's in my area at the moment and uh, who is sort of most likely to go for a Remain vote, um, looking like the Lib Dems for me. I was on the fence before the vote, um, directly after the vote became very pro-Remain. Um, I think at the moment um, I'd be all for having a revo revocation of Article 50, second referendum, uh, and then have a more informed decision about it. And then even if we then decide to go for Brexit again, I think we've learned some lessons to actually make it happen in a less shambolic way. In the referendum, I actually voted to leave. It was a hard decision, but I think that uh, the, the fact that the, you know you look at the Council of Ministers, these people you can't vote for, you can't remove these people. So I'm a big believer in democracy. By no means is that place perfect, but at the end of the day, if you don't like them, at least you can vote them out. With the you know you look at uh, Juncker and people like that, you can't actually remove these guys because you can't vote for them.